Now what I want to do is I want to dive into some of your comments and questions uh, from this week. As we are transported into the, the, uh, the land of the comments section on my kitchen sink video. Now my kitchen sink video, which is actually my very, very first video, it goes through how to pick out a kitchen sink, uh, the questions you need to ask, the terms you need to be aware of when you're shopping for a kitchen sink, what they mean, how they affect you. The, you know, this is all very important. And that kitchen sink video has been getting lots of love lately. On that kitchen sink video, Anetta says, what are the price points for each material? Does that vary with the type of installation? Uh, what do you think about gold tone sinks now? So I'm going to go full screen for a second and talk about that, Anetta. So that is an awesome question. And I love awesome questions with the materials. Yes. As a general rule, and this is just general because it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer. It depends on how the manufacturer uh, determines value of their product as well. So, but raw material wise, stainless steel is less expensive than a porcelain product. And stainless steel is also sometimes less expensive than a composite granite. Copper is a very expensive metal and tends to be much higher priced. Now this is in general. Now here's the thing, uh, it depends on where the material is coming from as well. Stainless steel from Italy costs a lot more than stainless steel from China. Ness, what I'm painting for you is a very broad spectrum. Uh, it depends on each brand. Um, there's, you know, Blanco has Chinese stainless sinks that they sell for three, four, five hundred dollars $500. Blanco also has some actual German sinks, stainless steel that are actually made in Germany. And they sell those stainless steel sinks for $1,600, $1,600. So, that's why I'm saying it's it, it really depends. LK, one of my favorite LK sinks is the Crosstown series, but that's a Chinese made product, even though LK is an American manufacturer. They sell the Crosstown series for, th again, three, four, five hundred dollars. And depending on which model you pick and what size and all that other good stuff. But when you look at the LK Luster Tone series, which is made in the United States, price is like, again, two or three times the price the, the, compared to the Crosstown. So it just depends. Uh, it, it, I apologize that that's a very vague answer. Um, yes, as a general rule, undermount sinks are a little bit... Well, here's the thing. Now... E economics comes into play as well. Not just material, not just country of origin, but uh, economics now. Now it's supply and demand. It's marketing. Uh, a brand that you see everywhere uh, that does a ton of marketing is probably going to be a higher price. Also, supply and demand. So everybody wants undermount sinks. So you take two sinks that are fairly equal, one's a drop-in and one's an undermount, the undermount is going to cost more than the drop-in. Even though the drop-in technically would probably have a little bit more material in it. Because again, supply and demand. More people want undermount sinks, so they are going to be slightly higher priced. Again, these are general rules. These are, I, I'm sure, if you're diligent enough, you will come up with some way to prove me wrong because there's going to be some manufacturer that doesn't do what I just said. However, there's going to be a lot of manufacturers that do. So these are just some general rules, general guidelines for you to go. Now, gold tone sinks. Most of the gold tone sinks 
that you see out there like Ruvati and stuff like that. I just did a video on that maybe a, a week ago. I actually filmed it back in February when I went to KBiz, but I released it about a week ago. And that is uh, their gold tone sinks or brass tone sinks are actually stainless steel sinks that are anodized. Likewise, so is Rolls. Now, Roll and Ruvati both you know, say their product comes from Italy, but the Ruvati is going to be a lot more price conscious from what I've seen. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, I'm going to leave a quick summary of this discussion in the comments section here. However, um, I really would like you to uh, watch this whole thing and edit if you could uh, and go from there. Um, so we're going to say we're, we're going to reply to Anetta. Hi, Anetta. The answer to your question was not a short one and make sure you're subscribed so you never miss an episode. Boom.